All right, we're going to keep going. Uh, the ego is the enemy. Ryan Holiday. To be or to do, which way will you go? Be somebody or do something? Appearances are deceiving. Having authority is not the same as being an authority. Having the right and being right are not the same either. Impressing people is utterly different from being truly impressive. Duty honoring God. Frederick Douglass once said, A man is worked upon by what he works on. Purpose? What is your purpose? What do you want to accomplish? Focus on this and this only. It's about doing, not the recognition. Become a student. I'm a student to this day. Even though I have students, I am a student. A student is self-critical and self-motivated, always trying to improve his understanding so that he can move on to the next topic or challenge. Epictetus, Epictetus said, he has a lot of quotes in this book too. That's why I like this book as well. Epictetus said, it is impossible to learn that which one thinks one already knows. Don't be passionate. Must be above passion and desires and feelings. Must have purpose, direction. Be guided by reason, not by passion. Stoic. That's the word I was thinking of earlier. He's considered a stoic. Stoicism. Where they, what that is, is they go into the history of a lot of the Greek philosophers had certain stern beliefs about things. Um, I agree with some of that. A lot of it is real, but some of it is a little too much for me, but a lot of truth to it. What is really called for to siege opportunities is, in order for you to siege an opportunity, you must have three things. First thing, clarity. Second thing, deliberateness. Third thing, methodolo methodolog methodological methods and determination to do it. Clarity, deliberateness, and then a method to carry it out. Those are the three things to take advantage of an opportunity. Passion typically masks a weakness. It's breathlessness and impetuousness and franticness are poor substitutes for discipline, mastery, strength, purpose, and perseverance. Once again, not the surface. Passion is more about the surface. There's a passion paradox. How can someone be so busy and not accomplish anything? What I require is my ascent. What I require in my ascent is purpose and realism. Purpose is like passion with boundaries. Realism is detachment and perspective. Passion is about, I am so passionate about real estate. This is what I used to say. Purpose is two and four. I must do more videos. I was put here to accomplish success and helping myself and other people open their third eye to reach their higher self. <laughs> of course, I added that on. Purpose de-emphasizes the I, me. So we talked about that before, okay? And he touches on that a little bit too. All right, there's two sides to us, which kind of go into everything else we've been saying, this duality consciousness that we live in, this world we live in. It's an I, me, and an I am. Ego sticks with the I, me. Your conscience is the I am. And purpose de-emphasizes the I, me. Purpose is more aligned to your I am. Purpose is about pursuing something outside ourselves as opposed to pleasuring ourselves. Great passions are maladies without hope. Goethe said that. That was a quote. Realism. Where do we start? What do we do first? What do we do right now? How are we sure that what we're doing is moving us forward? What are we benchmarking ourselves against? These are questions we need to ask ourselves to make sure we're keeping it real, quote unquote. What are we doing? A deliberate, purposeful person operates on a different level beyond the sway or sickness they hire professionals and use them they ask questions they are asked what could go wrong they ask for examples they plan for contingencies 
Then they go off to the races. Usually they get started with small steps, complete them, and look for feedback on how the next step can be better. They lock in gains and they get better as they go, often leveraging those gains to grow exponentially rather than arithmetically. That was real right there, I like that. A deliberate, purposeful person asks the right questions, slowly deliberates things and makes conscious, calculated decisions. Passion is form over function. Purpose is function, function, function. <laughs> Let's say that again. Once again, I add on to some of this stuff and most of it's his book, but a lot of it's me. Passion is form over function. Purpose is function, 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 over form. The critical work that must be done will require my deliberation and consideration, not passion. Must be about what I feel I must do and say, not what I care about or wish to be. This is another deep phrase, man. He drops a lot of jewels in this. Must be about what I feel I must do and say, not what I care about or wish to be. Follow the canvas strategy, canvas strategy, the whiteboard, helping ourselves by helping others, be lesser, do more, find what nobody else wants to do and do it. Restrain yourself. Our own path, whatever we aspire to, will in some ways be defined by the amount of nonsense we are willing to deal with. It doesn't matter how talented you are, how great your connections are, how much money you have. When you want to do something, something big and important and meaningful, you will be subjected to treatment ranging from indifference to outright sabotage. Count on it. Those who have subdued their ego Understand that it doesn't degrade you when others treat you poorly. It degrades them. You got to subdue your passions. And that's the ego. Get out of your own head. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except his thoughts. So he or she loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. <laughs> My buddy said that. Everyone has to research Alan Watts. Please stop what you're doing. Stop this video and Google Alan Watts. I'm a big fan of his. And what is he? He's just a realist. He's just a realist to me. But his philosophy is so deep. More like a Buddhist, Zen Buddhism, but so practical. Let's read what he said again. This is a quote from Alan Watts. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except his thoughts. He loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. You're just thinking about your thoughts over and over again. It goes back to that story that we keep telling ourselves. The danger of early pride. A proud man is always looking down on things and people. And of course, as long as you are looking down, you cannot see something that is above you. C.S. Lewis said that, that's a quote. I gotta start saying these quotes up front so you know it's a quote. Pride blunts the very instrument we need to own in order to succeed, our mind. Our ability to learn, to adapt, to be flexible, to build relationships, all of this is dulled and dumbed down by pride. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't cook the sauce before catching the fish. Don't cook the sauce before catching the fish. The way to cook a rabbit is to first catch a rabbit. If you're doing the work and putting in the time, you won't need to cheat. You won't need to overcompensate. We must prepare for pride and kill it early or it will kill what we aspire to. The first product of self-knowledge is humility. Put that pride in check. All right, we're gonna stop there today and keep it moving. See you on the other side. Peace.